Okay, I'm gonna explain this guide in basic layman's terms so everyone can understand and not just uh, technical boffins like myself. So here we go. This is really for uh, models uh, who do not know how to uh, make images smaller or as we call resize. 80% um, of models I know do not know how to make images smaller and this stops them from sending them out to agencies or uploading them to websites or sending them via email because usually they're very huge where they get them back uh, after a shoot from a photographer so um, as a photographer myself I'm always receiving emails from models uh, sometimes 20 to 30 meg single emails with only like four images in there so you know pretty much the images are like five to six megabytes in size uh, which is what six five to six thousand when really you can get a decent image size uh, from five to six thousand to uh, down to about three hundred um, so uh, we will start by opening a very simple program called paint which is the most basic image program there is which is uh, pre-installed on all Windows PCs um, I've already got paint open here as you can see um, paint is your friend I know it's a really basic crappy program um, but here we are so now you've got paint open you want to go and look for the images you want to basically resize or make smaller so I'm gonna go open I'm gonna look for my Britney Spears image which is already set here for me so we'll open up Britney Spears and there she is in all her glory so we've got the Britney Spears um, image open and what we want to do is is go up to image and click on attributes now attributes just tells you the file um, dimensions and the resolution um, and also the size and as you can see it's 600k which is fine but it's the dimensions which is the killer so you want to get the dimensions which is standard um, I normally work between 300 and 500 in width because you've got to imagine that when you upload the image to a website you've got to think about how much width space you have for the image sometimes you may go onto a page or a site and the image is, is really big and you have to scroll across to see the rest of the image no nope, you don't want to do that so you want to make sure your image is between 300 and 500 width in pixels so um, basically uh, we're going to get this down from 1600 to about 400 so we'll click cancel on that and how we do that is we go up to image um, and go to stretch and skew stretch and skew is basically just uh, um, a way of saying you can uh, well stretching means you can make it bigger or you can um, squash it down and make it smaller as you can see here you have got the horizontal and the vertical dimensions all set to 100% and what you want to do is I always try and work in 25% increments as you can see here it's set to 100% so my whole thing is is work in smaller pieces so that you can always go back one or two steps to recover if you made a mistake so in this case uh, we're going to take away 25 percent of 100 which leaves 75 and then click OK now you've seen the image has got a little bit smaller so we want to repeat that same thing and you'll notice that it says 100 percent again so you want to take another 25 percent off that and call it 75 it's still getting smaller so just keep repeating that until you get down to a decent that it fits in the window um, and you can see here it's kind of we can see all of Britney Spears here but you want to make sure we get get it all in there so we'll go to image again and check the attributes and see where we are now the attributes are at 675 which is just over uh, a small computer screen um, so we want to get down to four, uh, between three and five hundred. So let's get that down, and then we we'll go to image again, um, stretch and skew, and we'll reduce it again by twenty-five percent. Oops, put it for seventy-five percent, and we've got it pretty much all in the window there. We can see all our face very clear, and you haven't lost any resolution or quality in that image. So we we'll go to image and attributes and see where we are. So we're down to 500. Now I'm looking at this image on a 22 inch 
uh, Dell flat screen high resolution monitor so for me it looks it looks a little bit small but to you it's not that small so we're going to reduce that down to 300 to 400 again so I will go to image and uh, skew it down again another 25 percent to 75 and that's basically it go to image check the attributes and you're down to 381 width which is fine if that was a model you can pretty much see everything in that image and that's perfectly fine um, that will be easy for you to send via email upload to your website to myspace or whatever um, and uh, send to agencies to give them an idea of what you look like so that's pretty much it the last important thing very important is you want to save it but you don't want to save it over the original so don't click save or don't uh, yeah click save you want to save it as so you want to save a copy of it so we're going to go to save as and not save as you can see it's just called Brittany underscore spears dot jpeg so normally what I do is to identify images I've worked on or edited I put edited in front of the name and then put either a dash or an underscore whatever works for you as you can see here edited dash Britney Spears and that's saved now if you want to check it go to open and you can see it's there now you can also see also the file size you can see that the original Britney Spears image was uh, 557k uh, which is half half of one one meg because one meg is a, is a thousand um, kilobytes um, and we've reduced it from 557 down to 26 that's not too bad that will go through an email in a flash so you've pretty much done that and that is uh, pretty much what you do uh, how you resize your images um, via paint